tell me, Jeff? Well, it looks like we made it clean, Pardo. They sure sleep sound in Virginia City, don't they? Let's go. Sam. Ponderosa's off in that direction. Well, I reckon I can find it. You know what you're going to do when you get there. We've been over it 97 times, Pardo. Just once more. All right. I go to the Ponderosa and I hire on as a hand and I keep my ears open. And if a search party comes down this way, I'll let you know first. Especially if it's a platoon from the Army. Then what? Well, then when things quiet down, I come on back and we light out. Mark that big old dead tree. We'll be a mile and a half south of here. You'll see a big granite boulder. Leads into a box canyon. That's where we'll be waiting. You just let old Sam take care of it. You're my eyes and my ears. I'm dependent on you, Sam. Let's go. Sam, cover up those hoof prints. They probably want to know where you came from. Tell them about that ranch you used to work on. That fella was always talking about the Ponderosa. That ought to convince him. What if it doesn't? What? What if somebody starts getting extra nosy? You got a gun, haven't you, Sam? Too much horse for you, Adam. Uh, you're next, Bronk Buster. That's what they call me. Hey, Joe, you ain't been making no rash promises to Ellie McClure, have you? I ain't had a chance. You sure? Because there comes report and the sheriff right now. Hey, I wonder what they want. I don't know, but now, me I always sort of went for June weddings with lots of apple blossoms. Yeah, well, you know, a fella could do a lot worse than Ellie McClure. Oh, excuse me all to pieces. Well, are you gonna ride this thing or not? Coming up. You'll excuse me, ladies. It's time for your riding list. <laughs> <laughs> See some fun. Right in Joe! Right in Joe! Right in Joe! Keep his head up, Joe! Right in Joe! Right in Joe! Right in Joe. <laughs> Keep his head up! That's the way! That's the way! Get him! Come on, boy! Ride him! Stay with him, boy! Ride him! Ride him! Ride him. <laughs> <laughs> I told you! <laughs> 
I'm glad somebody enjoyed it. I'm sorry. I didn't know it showed. What can we do for you? Well, you wouldn't happen to have an easy job in a cool place, now, would you? Yeah, but my brothers and I take all of those. What else do you do? Well, I've accidentally managed to break a horse or two in my day. Yeah, well, we just happen to have one on hand. Yeah, well, I was hoping you'd take my word for it. Now, what's this? The cowboy wants to try his luck on that hammerhead. You ever busted any broncs before, Button? One or two, I guess. Well, if you ain't for sure, right now would be a real good time to back out. Well, no, I don't reckon I'd want to do that. You think we should let him do it? Well, it's his hide. Some fellers have to learn the hard way, Joe. That's what I call riding a horse. Oh, well, you gotta admit I tired him out a little bit. Well, you might as well face it, Joe. Some people just better with horses than others. Nice ride, kid. I'm out of cart right. Sam Kirby. These are my brothers, a horse and little Joe. Hi. Hi. Pleased to meet you. You uh, looking for a job, Sam? Well, Ed Lemp said you might be hiring some hands. Ed Lemp, you a friend of his? Well, he ramrodded an outfit I work for down in Arizona, the Bar B. I see. Uh, Ed, give you a letter to show? Well, yeah, I, uh, I got it uh, packed in the saddlebag there, if you really want to see it. If you say you got it, you got it. How's old Ed in here? Oh, he's meaner than ever. Still thinks mighty high of the Ponderosa, though. Well, we uh, pay 30 a month, bunk and beans. Well, you just hired yourself a hand. Now, as far as posses are concerned, we got them here, here, and up here. Looks like they're well covered. Now, I've been on the telegraph to every lawman in the territory, so I believe we got them pretty well sealed in. That is, within this general radius. Yeah. Oh, boys, come in, please. You know Mr. McClure, Sheriff Coffey? Yeah, right, Sheriff. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, Mr. McClure, are we getting all set for that birthday party Sunday? I'm hoping we'll be able to have a birthday party, little Joe. Well, why? What's the matter? Uh, Mr. McClure's bank was robbed last night. I thought that bank was pretty near robber-proof. Yeah, so did I. How much did they get away with? Just about all there was. Right now, we'd be lucky if we could pay off five cents on the dollar. Uh, boys, that information is not to leave this room. You mean the people don't know about it? Well, they know we've been hit, but they don't know how bad. We can't afford to have a run on the bank right now. If we can get that money back by the first of the month, we got a chance to weather it. It'll be fine, Tom. Any idea who did it, Sheriff? Yeah, it could have been the John Potter bunch. He pulled a job just about like this up in Butte last year. Well, what are we waiting for? Now, wait a minute, Joe. The Sheriff has plenty of help up north. He's holding us responsible for the Ponderosa. Chances are they'll hold up for a while anyway, unless this thing cools down a bit. Now, we'll see to it that they don't hold up on our land. So keep your eyes open for anything unusual. You know, smoke. Tracks that had not to be there. Drifters that got a lot more money than they ought to have. Anything like that. Well, we'll let you know if we see anything, Roy. Uh, much obliged to you, Ben. More than likely, they won't come down this way at all. But it don't do no harm to make sure. No, it doesn't. Bye. Hello. Hi, hey, Mr. McClure. I sure hope Ellie can have that birthday party. I hope so, too, little Joe. We're waiting to hear from Fort McKay. We're trying to get help from the Army. Well, I'm sure they'll want to help. So do we, Tom. Ben, when I think about some of the small ranchers around here, I... I'm just not man enough to tell them that they've worked five, ten, fifteen years for nothing. 
It's a tough thing to face up to. Now, nah, now, nah, Tom, that's enough of that kind of talk. They'll find Pardo in his outfit. You mark my words. I hope so. Thank you, Ben. So long, Ben. So long, Roy. Must have finished breaking those horses, Pop. No, forget about the horses for now. There's still time to do some looking before it starts getting dark. You boys saddle up and tell the horse and the men. Hey, Pa, I was, uh, I was just thinking about what the sheriff said about drifters. Huh? What about them? Well, we just hired one a little while ago. I just thought I'd mention it. Well, now, come on, Joe. Just because he outrode you doesn't mean he's a bank robber. Look, I told you to stop kidding me. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. What about this new man? Well, Ed Lamp sent him. He's all right. Fell over there by the corral. Sam Kirby, in the gray shirt. Well, if Ed Lamp vouches for a man, that's good enough for me. Tell Hoss and the men to saddle up. Now, we'll cover more ground if we split up in twos. Joe, you take the Arroyo and everything east. Right, Pa. Horst. Yes, sir. You go down south as far as the wash. Adam and I will take the west part. All right, take a man and let's get busy. Okay. Yeah, let's we'll bird dog him out of there. Come on. Hey. Yeah. You. I think I'm going to stretch him out. Well, uh, don't you think it's getting kind of late? Shouldn't we get back? Yeah, after I work out 15. Wonder how the others are doing. I don't know. I hope they're doing better than we are. Funny. You find something? Yeah. This bush here. It's been broke off fresh. You reckon how that come to happen? Well, uh, a stray, maybe. No, I don't see no tracks. It's peculiar, ain't it? Well, it, uh, that's, that's deer brush. Maybe some Indian took it for his fire. Maybe. Let's me and you take a look around in here. Pause. What's the trouble, Joe? Oh, nothing, I guess. From back there, it looked like he was drawing down on you. Who, old Sam here? Well, I, I just heard somebody coming. I, I just wanted to be sure. Joe, you're letting this whole thing spook you, boy. Yeah, I guess so. I reckon you was right about that deer brush. Well, let's get on in for supper. supper tonight. I never had roast beef that good in my whole life. Get your gear stowed away? No, I I better get to it. Want some help? No, thanks. I don't have that much. If you need anything, Sam, just holler. Do you, uh, 
have supposed it's something serious? I don't know. I think the cat's got his tongue. <laughs> no, I was just thinking. About Ellie McClure, no doubt. Uh, no doubt. No, I was thinking about Sam Kirby. Well, now you can't still be stewing about him breaking that horse this morning. No, I told you that had nothing to do with it. No, it's like I was telling you before supper. He's all bothered because he thought he caught old Sam drawing down on me out there in the wash. Forget that, Joe. He told you how that happened, didn't he? Yeah, he told me. What's the matter with you, then? I don't know. It was just... It was just something about him. <laughs> Well, on Friday, we, we covered the south and the west part. Then yesterday, we took the east. And this morning, we split up and swept north. No luck, huh? Nah. Not unless Adam found something. I didn't. Oh, what kept you? Well, Sam saw some uh, smoke up around Bitter Creek. Turned out to be Ollie Ludlow's posse. Yeah. Ollie's been marching the Dayton Road. Don't I know you, son? I couldn't say, Sheriff. I don't think I know you. Roy, this is Sam Kirby. He's working for us now. Since when? Since Friday. Hard on Friday, huh? Where were you Thursday night, Sam? You mean the night the bank was robbed? Mm-hmm. I was on the trail. You can prove that, of course. Not unless you want to take the word of my horse. Sam's all right, Sheriff. He, Ed Lemp sent him up here from the Bar B. Oh. How's old Ed? Meaner than a snake. <laughs> Well, I guess, Sheriff, that... Sheriff, got a message for you from Fort McKay. Thanks, Rudy. Get my glasses. Come to town for the picnic, Mr. Cartwright? Oh, you mean uh, Ellen McClure's birthday party? I heard that was being called off, wasn't it? Well, it looks like they call it back on again. You know about ladies and parties and such. They say it's going to be a real do. Hot dogs, and that's what I call real good news. And here's some more good news. The Army's going to bust loose to the whole troop of horse soldiers. Says they'll be here tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow? Well, that is good news, Sheriff. That changes things considerably. Now we can organize a search that'll really mean something. Well, Tom McClure will be happy to hear about that. Well, what's up, Rudy? Who's that young fella in there, Joe? That's the new hand we hired. Why? Well, nothing. I just thought maybe I saw him in town with two other men the night the bank was robbed. Are you sure? Well, he sure looks like the fella I seen. Well, maybe you ought to come in there and tell the Sheriff. Oh, no, wait a minute. I ain't that sure. Anyway, it was kind of a dark night that night. Well, I'll see you back at the Ponderosa, Mr. Cartwright. All right, Sam. Aren't you going to the picnic, Sam? No. No, I'm not much good at picnics. Well, you ain't never seen the kind of picnics we have around here. Well, I think I'll just ride on back to the ranch, Hoss. Oh, won't you come on? It'll do you good. Well, some other time. Old Joe and me are going to look pretty silly packing you all the way over there, ain't we? Well, maybe he's got something better to do, Hoss. All right, you win. I'll go. Come on. Hope she's got some of that blueberry pie. Yes, sir, I sure relish a couple of them blueberry pies for supper. work for just any girl. I hope you know how much I like you. You mean I'm the only girl you ever carried a picnic basket for, little Joe? Well, let's just say you're the only girl I'd carry one for now. Little Joe Cartwright, right in front of all these people. Yeah, well, you, you know, we could go behind that wagon. All right. All right, I'll get the rest of the groceries. The pickle fork. Pickle fork. Where did I put that? 
right. Uh, Ma'am, uh, there was a great big old horsefly here, and I, I, I was just... I know what you was just. You Cartwrights. If it isn't one thing, it's the other. There'll be no refreshments served until after the games. Yes, ma'am. Miss Ellie, ain't that your pickle fork over there? I don't see any. Horace Cartwright! Remember, ma'am, I'm just a growing boy. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam, come here. What you doing sitting off over there all by yourself? I'm just watching. Well, that ain't no way to do it at a picnic. You got to get around here and meet some of these pretty gals. Oh, no, don't bother. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, but you'll be a lot finer when you meet some of these gals. Come here. Miss Ellie. Miss Ellie, I, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This here is Sam Kirby. How do you do, Mr. Kirby? My pleasure, ma'am. Hey, you better be nice to Miss Ellie. Her father owns a bank. Is that so? Well, if you two will excuse me, I, I better find Paul and Adam and learn them something about shooting them horseshoes. Do you like picnics, Mr. Kirby? Well, I don't exactly know. You don't know? You see, this is the first one I've ever been to. Didn't they have picnics where you grew up? Not hardly. What kind of a place was that? I don't think you'd much want to hear about it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be inquisitive. It's, it's my fault. I, I didn't mean to give you a short answer. That's all right. If you'll excuse me, I've got to finish setting this table. Is there anything I can do to help you? Thank you. I didn't think I was going to have a party today at all. Is that so? You heard about the bank being robbed. Yeah, I heard. Papa's been awfully upset. And Mama and me, too, naturally. Well, I guess you would be. So many people trusted Papa. The Wilsons and Ludlows, even the Cartwrights. I think it would just kill Papa if they were to lose everything. Well, I, I don't see where it's his fault. He feels responsible to his friends. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, anyway. We had some real good news today. I suppose you mean about the army coming in? Yes, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, wonderful. Ellie, have you seen the napkins? Yes, Miss Shoemaker, they're in that basket over there. Well, come on, girl, the party can't wait all day. Mind setting them out? Of course not, Miss Shoemaker. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Kirby. I hope to see you again. Thank you, ma'am. Well, as a matter of fact, there's a dance next Thursday. Doesn't amount to much, but the Cartwright boys usually come. Why don't you come along with them? Well, thank you, ma'am. I think I'd like that. Thursday, then. Yes, ma'am. Oh, let me get that. What are you trying to do, Kirby? I wouldn't say I was trying to do anything. Now, little Joe, Mr. Kirby and I were only talking. Yeah, sure, I saw the way he was talking. It looked to me like he was trying to put his arm around you. Joe Cartwright. What business is this of yours, Cartwright? I'm making you my business, Kirby. Just because I've gone on with you once or twice, it doesn't give you the right to think of me as your personal property. Now, you stay out of this, Ellie. There's a lot of questions I'm wanting to ask you, Kirby. Now's as good a time as any. Well, I'm not answering any questions. Yeah, well, you're gonna answer this one. Where were you Thursday night? Joe! Mr. Kirby, please! It's all right, folks. Everything's all right. Boys were just getting a little hungry, that's all. 
I think uh, Mr. McClure would like us to adjourn to the tables for a little food. Yes, friends. Over here. We have fried chicken. Yeah. Sam, we didn't mean no harm. We, we didn't know your back was scarred up like that. You suppose it'd be all right if I went along now? Well, where do you want to go, Sam? Back to the ranch, if it's all right. Of course it's all right. Sam, little Joe didn't mean nothing. We just want you to have a good time, that's all. Hoss. Sam? Put this on. It'll cover your back. Nick for him. Paul, you reckon what to do a man's back like that? Um, but the only thing I could figure is bullwhip. What are you all looking at? Oh, forget it, Joe. Ain't nobody looking at you. Well, all right, what was I supposed to do? You didn't have to poke him. Oh, I didn't have to poke him. Look, he's the one who threw the first punch. Come on, now. You've been down on him ever since he rode that horse. I told you that's got nothing to do with it. Well, what is it then, Joe? What do you got against that boy? All right, I'll tell you. Rudy told me he saw him in town Thursday night. I wouldn't be surprised if he had something to do with a bank robbery. Hey, Joe, that's going a bit too far, ain't it, boy? It's a pretty serious charge, Joe. Do you have any real evidence to support it? Now, Rudy told me he thought he saw him in town. He thought he saw him in town. And you call that real evidence? I guess not. I'm sorry, Pa. I should have known better. All right. Look, maybe I better write after him, tell him I'm sorry. Good idea. Sam, how's the boy? Just fine, Pardo. Things quieting down? No. They're getting hot. There's an army troop of cavalry headed in from Fort McKay. Uh, when? Well, they're due in Virginia City tomorrow afternoon. What time? Well, I'm afraid they didn't say that. <laughs> oh, well. We'll have plenty of time. Where are the posses? Well, I got them all spotted. Yeah, you sure? I had a good long look at the map in the sheriff's office. <laughs> sheriff's office? 
They must have trusted you pretty good. Yeah, they trusted me fine. Why? No reason. Where'd you get the new vest? Adam Cartwright. He, uh, he gave it to me. He gave it to you? I gotta hand it to you. You sure got away with you, Sam? Yeah. All right, we'll take out of here in the morning before the cavalry pulls in. <laughs> now, what's so funny? That Cartwright fella giving you his vest. <laughs> There's one thing still left for you to do, Sam. I want you to go back to Ponderosa. Spend a little more time with your friends. Why? Well, for one thing, you might want to return that vest. If you're thinking of turning on me, Sam, you better forget it. Now, what makes you say that? I don't know. I just said it. Now, get back to that ranch and find out which way the soldiers are coming in. Pardo, do I have to go back there? Yeah, you have to go back there. <laughs> Where'd you find him? Looks like he was trailing Sam. Ramos and me thought you might be interested. You know him? Yeah. It's Joe Cartwright. It's a small world, ain't it, Kirby? I thought you said you had him fooled. No, not all of us. What's that mean? Nothing. Just keep him here. I'm going back to the ranch. Soft, Sam? Third time up. Get on back to Ponderosa before those cartwrights get suspicious. And find out which way those horse soldiers are coming in, you hear? I hear you. That you, little Joe? Oh, it's me, Sam. Oh, I thought, uh, Joe would be with you. Well, you thought wrong. It's funny, he rode out of town right after you did. He, uh, felt kind of bad about what happened at the picnic today. He went after you to tell you he was sorry. Oh? Well, you tell him I said not to lose any sleep. Sam, I haven't known you for very long, but I, uh, count you as a friend. Let me tell you something. A man's only got one friend, one guy in the whole world he can count on who'll go out on a limb for him, and that's himself. All right. The uh, sheriff's inside. The sheriff? He wants to talk to you, Sam. But why me? Why don't you ask him that yourself? I tried to convince him to stick it out in this territory, but <laughs> he never did think this country to amount to much. Hired out to Arizona. Well, did pretty well out there. But had all that gold and silver right here under his feet. Yeah, and the lumber and cattle. <laughs> oh, Sam? Well, uh, you know the sheriff. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sit down, Sam. No, thanks. The sheriff tells me he has some uh, information about you. I thought you'd want to be here when he told us. That's nice of you, Mr. Cartwright. Seems uh, Sheriff Coffee here got to worrying about you this morning after we left his office. Well, that was real nice of you, too, Sheriff. I sent a telegraph message about you down to Barbie Ranch, old Ed Lemp. Here's the answer. 
It says they let you go more than six months back on account of your prison record in Texas. Did you check on that, too? Didn't have to. Is that the whole story? Funny thing about a prison record, Mr. Cartwright. They say you do your time and you pay your price. But don't you believe it. Sam, did you serve your time out? Eight years. And I was pardoned. I suppose they left that out. It's all there. Now, Roy, what's all this about? Since when do we hound a man who's paid for his mistake? It wasn't exactly a mistake. Now, just what does that mean? He murdered his father in cold blood. Is what he's saying true? Yeah, some. He was my stepfather, and he needed killing. And nobody needs killing. He did. I was six years old when my mother died. You know what he did when we come back from the funeral? He took a whip to me. Just to show you, he says. Just to show you things are going to be different from now on. That was my stepfather. See? From then on, he beat me every day I can remember. Except when he was too drunk. And it was he who... who did that to your back. He did. So I waited. I waited till I figured I could handle him. And I waited till he was stone cold sober. I wanted him to know what was happening and who was doing it. And that's premeditated murder. Yeah. And then one night he came for me. And I was ready. And I killed him. I was 14 years old. And that's what you served your sentence for? For 10 years. I served eight. I think you better come along with me, boy. Sheriff, I'm not going anywhere with you. Kirby, you haven't got a chance against the four of us. Sam. Sam, put, it, put up your gun. Put it away. All right. Now, what's the charge against him? No charge. Don't need any. He can't prove where he was Thursday night, and he's got a prison record. That's enough to take him in. Well, that's not enough to take a man off this ranch. Now, what does that mean, Ben? Roy, half the people in this territory couldn't prove where they were Thursday night. And as for a man having a prison record, once he served his sentence, his debt is paid, and that's it. The boy stays here. You're refusing to cooperate with the law. I'm refusing to allow you to lock the boy up without a valid reason. No law in the world says you can do that. I could deputize some men. Well, Sheriff, I reckon you better get you a whole bunch of them. All right, Ben. But it's your responsibility. Ben, you're sticking your neck out a country mile because if you've made a mistake, you're going to have to account for it. Sam, looks like little Joe and the rest of us owe you a new shirt. Yep. You go down and get the best one you can find, Sam, with pearl buttons and all. Sam. Now, what's been said here has been said, and that's the last of it. I want you to know that you have a home here in the Ponderosa for just as long as you want it. Uh, pa, you'll have to excuse Sam. He uh, has some theories about people going out on a limb. Guess they kind of fell apart, huh? That's where you're mistaken. Y'all just make me see how right I am. So I got a home in the Ponderosa, have I? Well, I can't use it. Sam. 
Now look, what do we say? The... Forget it! Just don't you do me any favors. And don't you expect any. Got into him. I guess he's not used to being treated like a human being. Hmm. Wonder why little Joe didn't come back with him. Oh boy, he probably got halfway out and decided to go back and make up to Ellie. Hmm. Should have been home hours ago. Strange boy, that Sam Kirby. Come on. I guess that's what happens when you've never been given a helping hand. Yeah, he got himself so far out on that limb, he didn't quite know how to get himself off. Well, it's been a hard day, Pa. Better get to bed. Don't worry about little Joe, Paul. He can take care of himself. Good night, Hoss. Good night, Adam. Good night. Good night, Paul. He's sure enough worried about Joe, ain't he? Uh, well, you know how he always is about him. Hey, where are you going? I'll be right back. You think you'll need any help? No. Wait till morning, huh? Why are you so touchy, Sam? No reason. I just want to get out of here. <sighs> then nothing my father said made any difference to you, huh? Why don't you Cartwrights leave me alone? I'm full up to here. And here's your vest. I don't want it. Sam, is it really the kindness that's killing you, or is it something else? I just don't like a lot of people asking me questions. Why not? What have you got to hide? Who says I got anything to hide? Little Joe, right about you all along? Is that what's bothering you, Sam? Okay. I got hit in the head. Kirby slammed into me and ran off. I guess he had his whole fooled. And particularly me. I think the sheriff is right about him. Little Joe, too. He might have the answer to Joe's whereabouts. Well, let's get Hawson, get settled up, and pick up his trail as soon as it turns light. Once more. You're wasting your time. Which way? About time you were getting here. We gotta get moving. What are you doing to him? What did you find out? Did you find out which way the horse soldiers were coming in? No. I didn't get a chance. Well, uh, maybe we still have a chance. He probably knows which way they're coming in. Why don't we just have you make him tell us? Yeah, why don't you make me talk, Sam? Go on. After all, you're practically one of the family. 
Oh, what are you waiting for? You ask him. That living with the Cartwrights is making you go soft. It's his kind that put you in jail and took eight years out of your life. You forgetting that? No, I'm not forgetting that. But I know the Cartwrights well enough to know that he won't talk. Now, if we stay here any longer, we'll never get out of here. Let's get going now. He'll never get out of here. When my pa and brothers find out I didn't come home all night, them and the cavalry will be all over the place. You're not going to make it. Well, maybe we won't. But you won't be alive to know it. Kill him. Hold it, Link. Now, he, he just gave us the answer. Yeah? Yeah. Take him with us. Joe Cartwright, riding out there in front. Then if we get trouble from any of the other Cartwrights, he gets a bullet right in the back. Might work. Promise. Go get Andy. And saddle up the horses. Link, get the money out of the cave. All right, Pardo. Sure waited long enough. You took ten years off my life. Well, I just hope I didn't take ten years off my life, too. Now, don't worry. You got friends now. Friends that'll stick by you. Yeah, I know that. I'll be all right. What about those other two? Yeah, let's pick them up. Like little Joe didn't wait for the army. Hey, he's got Sam with him. Looks like we was wrong about Sam, Paul. Yeah. Looks like we were all wrong about Sam Kirby. 